Hey viewers, Hexcraft here, and today I'm doing something different today. Today I'm going to be doing a theory video about Widowmaker, so let's get started. The question I want to tackle is when did Widowmaker kill her husband? And after looking at the recent items she got, I believe she killed him during the mission of Uprising. Some of the speculation, but at the same time, there is the fact that we know that five members of Overwatch are not at the base at the time. And before someone comments that I'm wrong and it's actually four, technically at the time, we know McCree is in the area of King's Row and not at the base. And thanks to in-game dialogue, we know Jack, Anna, and Gabriel are focused helping you with the King's Row incident. Now let's move on to the in-game items, starting with the spray. Each character got a spray involved in their past in some way, Widowmaker's being her wedding photo. This could just be Blizzard hinting at the whole being married, but it could also be reminding us of his death. Now let's move on to voice lines, the first of the two being the performance is about to begin. This could be hinting at her becoming the assassin known as the Widowmaker. The second voice line being, your emotions make you vulnerable. It sounds like she's taunting someone for their emotions, possibly Gerard. Finally, we have skins. This, for me, brings up a big red flag, seeing as Widowmaker got a skin about Talon during an event about Null Sector. What's stranger is, all the skins we did get are about the people during the events. For example, we got Blackwatch, McCree, and Genji because that's how they looked at the time, as seen in the comic. Even the Orisa and Bastion skins explained being part of Null Sector troops. Every skin's explained except Widowmaker's. That is why I believe while Overwatch is saving lives, Widowmaker was taking her first. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment. I'd love to hear your opinion about this. Until next time.